In the previous lesson, I mentioned that Git is a distributed version control system. But what exactly does version control mean? Or what exactly does distributed version control system mean? I'll be simplifying this concept in this lesson, starting from version control. Now, when you're working on projects, over time, you're going to make improvements to that project. Whether it's a personal project or a project in a company, there are going to be improvements over time. And these improvements will be as a result of the changes that you make to that project so let's say the first time you built the project this is what you have here and let's say currently this project has feature one two three now you want to improve this project maybe you want to add more features or you want to improve the ui whatever it is now you're going to have another version of this project so we can have this as version two version two is going to contain feature one two and three from version one and then maybe in version two you now have feature feature four, five. Over time again, you make some improvements to your project. Now we have version three of this project. And maybe in version three of this project, you now remove feature one. And maybe you also remove feature two and you don't add any new feature. You just refactor the code. Now what you have here is different versions of your project. Feature one, two, and three contain changes in certain files. When you had your version two, this also contained new changes and version 3 also has changes. Now tools like Git are called a version control system because they allow you to be able to track the changes that are introduced in these different versions. For example with Git you can see that okay in version 2 the files that changed were constant.js, api.py, something.java. This is what tools like Git would allow you to see. These were the files that were changed for version 2 and tools like Git would also tell you what lines changed. Maybe in constant.js, it was line 5 to line 10 that changed. Maybe in api.py, it was line 6 where you changed one word to another word. Git will also allow you to see that, okay, in version 3, you deleted one file, you added a new file, you introduced a change in this file. You can see all of those changes. And that is what the concept of version control means here. And this is how Git helps you to manage different versions of your project. Because let's assume maybe in version 3 of your application your application crashes something suddenly stops working there is a bug with git you can easily say okay go back to version Two. Now version 2 would not contain in the changes in version 3 and let's assume it's the changes in version 3 that introduce those errors in your application. You can easily revert back to version 2 and your application will be working fine. Then you can fix the problems in version 3 and then you can have version 4. And the idea of version control isn't just for you to see what is changing between these versions but it also makes it possible for you to retrieve previous files. Let's say in version 2 you deleted a file even if you are already in version 10, you can be able to assess version 2 and see the files that have changed. So with this, you have a good history of your project and you can always revisit previous files or versions or changes if you need to. So what about distributed version control system? The abbreviation of this is DVCS. Distributed version control system is the category of version control systems that Git falls under. And the other category that you have is central version control control system, which is CVC S. How is central different from distributed? Well, let's see how central works first. With a central version control system, you have the main system, the main project, which would be living on a server. And this is going to be the centralized server. So anybody that wants to make changes to this project would have to push their changes to this server. So even if it's just you that is making changes, let's say this is your laptop. When you want to make a change and add it to a new version of your project, you always have to send your changes to this server. It's a centralized server. Now in a company setting where there are different engineers working on this project using this kind of version control system, that means everybody needs to send their changes to the server. So the server is where you manage your project and you can track the history of that project. Main server and everybody sends their changes to this server. Now when it comes to distributed version control system, what you now have is distributed distributed copies of your project history for everyone. You can have your project maybe hosted on a server like this. At the same time, each of your users can have their 
own copy of the project. So if you want to track the history of your project or revisit previous changes, instead of only getting access to that information on the main server, every developer has that history on their device. So you can think of it as you have a project and everybody has a clone of that project. And in those clones, this user, for example, can create a new version here. This user can also create a new version. This one can create a new version. This one can create a new version. And then everybody can bring all their versions to one copy. So this is one copy here, which would usually be living on a server like GitHub or other Git hosting platforms. So everybody can bring their own version here. It's distributed in the sense that everyone has access to the history of the project and everyone can work on different versions of the project on their own devices. Now central version control system and distributed version control system each have their own pros and cons. In some ways, CVCS is better than DVCS and in other ways DVCS is better than CVCS. In another lesson I'll dive deeper into what the advantages and disadvantages of both of these systems are. So when it comes to version control tools like Git have a way of managing the changes that you introduce in different versions in a database and Git is very fast with doing this but as your project goes bigger the versions increases the changes increases the history increases then Git might start becoming slow but if your project is not super huge, Git is really fast. And like I said in the previous lesson, I use Git for almost every project that I work on. So Git is the distributed version control system. And as we progress in this course, you get to understand better what the concept of distributed means.